welcome to Humble House. This is a quick and easy project and so useful during the colder seasons. This tube scarf is a bit larger than most. That means you can use it as well, not only your child. I personally don't recommend tube scarves for babies that are younger than six months. Um, and just in general, never leave a baby unattended with any type of scarf. The measurements for this tube scarf are the following. Obviously, if you want it shorter or longer, then just add a couple of inches or take some away. The width I would keep the same since in general, babies' heads are pretty big, but you can always adjust that too. These are the following items that I'll be using. Lion Brand Yarns Scarfy. I'm using one skein of this Bulky 5. Uh, the recommended hook size is a 6.5 millimeter. Also, just make sure that you have enough yard, so don't take the small stains uh, or you'll need more. This one has 312 yards, 285 meters. The color for this one is cream silver. My hook is a 6.5 millimeter one. Now you can use a 6 millimeter one as well if you don't happen to have this 6.5 scissors, a measuring tape, and a yarn needle. Let's start with a slip knot. Form a little loop or a large loop. Sorry about all these stains. I mentioned it before in one of my videos. It's just such an old table, but it works. So insert your hook into this little circle and go under the yarn and grab this yarn and pull it through that middle part and carefully hold on to these two ends and then pull at the same time into opposite directions. Now adjust the yarn on your hook. Not too tight, not too loose. Start by making chains. You yarn over, that means you put the yarn over your hook and then you pull it through that first loop. So that is one chain. Again, you put the yarn over your hook so yarn over and you pull it through that loop and you have two and then you continue counting and do several chains until you have reached 14 inches okay so for me that meant 45 chains that's about 14 inches to that number I will add one more chain you do not count this one. This is just so we can go back and do single crochets. So into the second loop that's away from your hook. You will insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Into the next one, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. One more time, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. I'm noticing that it's it's kind of squeaking a little bit with this hook, so I'm gonna I'm going to switch it out. See if it's better. Because probably the microphone will pick it up. Oh, this is a six. Okay, here's my six point five. Alright, so simply continue with those single crochets until you have the same amount as you chained at the beginning. So I had 45, I added one, that does not count, therefore on my way back I will have 45 single crochets only. So this is your base row, now you will turn your work and always turn it in that same direction. Chain one. And if you see, every stitch has two loops. We only want to single crochet into the back loops for this row. So this is row number one. You start by going into the same stitch, into that back loop. Then yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Then into the next one, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. One more time. Like that. 
on till you get to the end of this row and then you will do the same you will turn your work chain one and single crochet into the back loops only you will do this for a total of seven rows once you're done with row number seven i will meet you back here and we will do a slight increase or widening if you want to call it like that i finished row number seven now i turn my work chain one and single crochet into that same stitch this will be your first one and do two more that's a total of three single crochets so this is technically row number eight now we're going to turn our work again chain one and do the three single crochets back now turn your work once more chain one and do your three single crochets now you will continue on to that next stitch that you would have continued with and do a single crochet so this is that widening that we're going to put at this will be the bottom of the tube scarf as you continue this will always be row eight then when you come back you will have row number nine and you will keep doing rows of single crochets until you're done with row number 17 and then row number 18 which you will start down here again that is where you repeat this same pattern the little increase with the three single crochets and so on what we're aiming for is to reach a width of it's about 20 inches so 19 to 20 inches okay now i have the measurement that i want which is about 19 inches now you want to pick which side you want to have looking outwards and which side you want to have looking inwards so this is the side that i want looking outwards therefore i'm going to fold this in the middle because eventually i'm going to turn it inside out okay so put the two sides together chain one align these and go through both of the loops on this side over here and then go across and you see that first stitch you yarn over pull up a loop and pull that loop through the loop that was on your hook that is your slip stitch again into the next stitch go through both loops and go across yarn over pull through and pull that loop through the one that's on your hook one more time through this stitch over here then go across yarn over pull through and through the one that's on your hook continue until you're done closing this side off okay i am now here at the other end i will cut this yarn off and i will pull this through this loop to tighten it and take your yarn needle and thread it in go through several stitches back and forth do the same on the other side as so we're done thank you guys for watching please subscribe wasn't this so quick and easy it's gonna be one of those pieces that you just have it in your purse you know ready to go you don't know if it's gonna be windy or not and you can just you know if you don't if you don't happen to have a thick jacket for your child 
just throw this on or even for yourself just put it on also follow me along on instagram at humblehas and i will see you here next time stay warm this is humblehas bye